everyone, my name is Heba and I'd like to welcome you to my channel. In this video, I'll be doing a really big haul. So much for my low buy, I guess, but yeah, this is going to be a big haul from Sephora during their Sephora Rouge sale. Got some things from Ulta, mainly backup items, and certain brands were having a discount like Sisley, so I picked up a few items from there. Also Givenchy, and I picked up some things from Guerlain at Suffrages, because it is a little bit cheaper when you buy it from Suffrages, and some things that I bought from Cospar, because they had a great gift with purchase. So I thought I might put everything in one big haul video because a lot of these things or I've accumulated all these products for about four to five weeks I guess you could say. Oh and I'm looking here and I have some things from Elemis because they were having 30% off. So yeah this is gonna be a one big haul and like I said so much for my low buy but give me some credit. I did do a couple of will I buy it videos and a lot of these things were in those videos that I said that I was going to buy. And I have a lot of products that are backups because when there's a sale, that's when I stock up. Let me go ahead and start with the products that I did buy from Sephora because that's the major bulk of my items here. And hopefully this video will be going up while the sale is still going. At least maybe one or two days left. But I did go to Sephora on the first day of the sale and then I ordered some things on the first day of the sale. Finally got them in and then I realized I needed a few more things and an eyeshadow palette came out so I placed an order on those but that hasn't come in yet. But I'll let you know what was in those orders. Let's go ahead and start with this one product that I did get for my hair. It's by Guerlain and it's the Scalp and Hair Youth Oil and Serum. I do have other things from Guerlain that I'm going to show you but I did buy that from Suffrages. But let's talk about this one for the hair. I did use it this morning. Of course, I just used it one time. I'm not seeing anything different with it. But at least it's not weighing my hair down. It's not an oil. Oil. It's more of a watery oil. It comes in a pretty bottle. I do like that gradient effect there. And it does have a long pipette. I don't think I can get in the camera. There it is. And you do get 1.6 ounce of product in here. And this one did cost $135, but I did get it on sale for 20% off. But let me let you know about it, what it says online on the Sephora website. It's a non-greasy hair oil composed of 97% naturally derived ingredients and sustainability sourced honey for visibly thicker and shinier hair. So the highlighted ingredients are complex with d panthenol, pure honey from, I guess you pronounce it, Wisson Island, which contains exceptional properties and is rich in polyphenols. I believe that's how you say that. That's even worse than me trying to speak French. <laughs> also contains Guerlain exclusive royal jelly, which provides exceptional nutrients and is a natural source of carbohydrates, proteins, which is good for the hair, lipids, and vitamins. The instructions does say to use one or two pipettes every day, but I think I'm just going to use one pipette, maybe even half, because it is pretty big. So I pretty much use this much this morning. I don't know if you can see that. So what I did is I just applied it to my scalp, just one pipette, half a pipette full actually, and then massaged it into my scalp. And it was on damp hair. It says you could do it on dry hair too, but I prefer doing it on damp hair. And then put my usual styling creams on and then I let it wait, uh, air dry and then blow dry it. And this was the end result after one use. I can't say yes if I like it, but it does have a good scent. I was a little afraid that it was going to be too perfumey. I'm not a big perfume kind of gal, but it does smell very good, very clean, and I can smell that honey. I do use two other scalp serums. One is by Briogeo, the charcoal and tea tree scalp treatment. I've been using that one for years, and that's great for my itchy scalp. And then another expensive hair serum is by Sisley. I've been using that one for almost a year and really do love that one. So I wanted to try something different, you know, to give my hair, you know, a break of using the same things. But let's see how this one will work. But so far, one use, not bad. Got a couple of skincare items and let's start with this one by Tatcha. This is the Clarifying Clay Mask. And I did use this one already and I'll insert a video of me trying this on. This is a clarifying clay mask that subtly warms to open pores, absorbs excess oil, gently exfoliate and decongest skin without drying. And the highlighted ingredients in here is the Okinawa Kucha Clay, which is rich in minerals. It absorbs excess sebum and oil, Japanese konjac, I believe that's how you say it, which gently exfoliates dead skin and dirt, and Japanese volcanic ash, which creates a warming sensation, allowing pores to open and drawing out visible impurities. I would say that this mask really opened up my pores and it also absorbs some of the oils. Now, if you have dry skin, this mask may not be good. I do have combo oily skin and I do have acne prone skin. I do like to use a clarifying or detoxing mask on my skin. I love masks on my skin, love them. And then so far, this one is a nice one. You do get 1.7 ounce of product in here and this one does cost $70, but again, it's on sale. So here's what the jar looks like and it does come with a spatula, which is very nice to have. 
But yeah, I really do like this mask. So far again, after trying it one time, this is a nice mask if you have oily skin. Now let's move into makeup. And I did buy two eyeshadow palettes. One of them is the one that I'm wearing right now. And the other one I did place in order. And the one that I ordered is the new one by Artist Couture. I believe it's the, I already forgot the name of it. It's the Supreme Mauve's eyeshadow palette. And I'll put a picture of it here. When I saw that, I wanted to try that one. Because I have the Supreme Nudes eyeshadow palette from Artist Couture and love that one. I didn't get the Supreme Bronze because those weren't the shades that I would use. But this one, the Supreme Mauves, yeah, that one looks pretty. So I can't wait to get that one. And also in that order, another eyeshadow primer by Smashbox. It's 24 hour photo finish eyeshadow primer. So I picked up another one of those. The eyeshadow palette that I'm wearing, I've been eyeing this palette for a long time, pretty much since it was released. But I finally placed an order and it's the Major Dimension by Patrick Ta. I've been seeing this all over YouTube and every time I look at it, it's sold out or it's not on sale. I'll wait till it's on sale and then when it goes on sale, it's sold out. But this time, I got it first thing in the morning on the first day of the sale and I ordered it. It finally came in and I'm loving this eye look. It's very pretty, very elegant. So in this palette, you do get two cream eyeshadows and I used this one. Don't know the names of them yet, but I used this one on my lids and it's such a pretty color. I thought it'd be too light, but it's such a pretty tone. And then I placed this one in the crease. And then the shimmer shade that I placed is this one on my lids. I know with the window, you get the glare. And it's such a beautiful bronze. And then, of course, in the outer corner, I did place this shade right here. Oh, in the inner corner, I forgot to mention, I placed this peachy, kind of like a shadow topper, metallic shade here. And here are the swatches of all the shades in this palette on my arm. And I can say I can really see why this is very popular. Love the cream eyeshadows, and it does have like a little plastic cover to protect it. But the one thing here, the top row, I thought this one would be more of a metallic shade, but it looks more of a matte. And then this one, when I swatched it on my arm, I thought this one was a matte, but you can see a little bit of a glitter in there. I do love the shades, and I love this look, and it blended out beautifully. It's not emphasizing any texture. It wasn't much fallout. Now I will say when I use this peachy tone, it was a little chunky. So you have to be careful with that. But this is a beautiful palette and I'm glad I finally got it. It did come out with the Major Dimension 2, but since I got the new one from Artist Couture, I passed on that one. And let me know if you want me to do more looks with this palette because I'll be glad to do it because this is a beautiful palette. And this one costs $68. Realized I have another skincare product. This is by Rose Ink and it's the Skin Resolution Clarifying Toner. I saw this one and I thought, let me give it a try because I am looking for toners. I love toners and essences, especially ones that will clarify my skin and exfoliate my skin. Because again, I do have acne prone skin, combo oily skin. I just need that extra help. So this is an alcohol-free, non-comedogenic daily toner rich with squalene and multiple acids to purify, exfoliate, and visibly brighten skin. And the highlight ingredients in here is squalene. Love squalene. It's a pure, sustainable, plant-derived moisturizer for weightless hydration. Pink clay powder, which detoxifies, and you can see the pink clay there on the bottom. And it has a lot of AHAs. Mandelic, lactic, glycolic, arteric, pyrovic acids. I believe that's how you pronounce it, which gently exfoliates. I've been using this now for several days and I use it at night after I cleanse my skin. And this is a nice toner, I have to say. I could feel the tingleness of it. I just pour a little bit in my hand and just pat it on my skin. And yeah, I could feel the tingleness of it and it does kind of clarify it and kind of cleans it. And it absorbs very nicely into the skin. Now, one thing I'm not too sure about it is the scent. It doesn't smell very good. It doesn't smell very good. I wonder if it's the clay. I don't know if this is fragrance free and this is just a natural scent of all the clay and squalene and acids in there. I don't know. But so far I like what I see when I apply it to my skin. I'm just not too sure about the scent. Doesn't smell very good. You get four ounce of product in here and this is $32. Another product from Rose Ink and I did pick up two shades in the Skin Enhanced Luminous Tinted Serum. So this one's 70 and this one's 80 and you can see from the bottom there. I hope I got it right. Different color sticker which I like. Since the font is so small I can just see the color of the sticker on the bottom. Let me pump it on my hand to see what it looks like. This is 70. So it is a watery tint and I don't know if you could see the pigment spheres in there. And then when you blend it out, kind of burst to show the color. And it's a medium skin tone with peach undertone. Now let me do 80 next to it. So there is 80. Maybe 80 is more my skin tone. 70 is a little bit light. I hope you can see that there in the camera. Yeah, I think 70 would be more me. 
Yeah, I think so. But I want to try this out and see how it worked during the summertime because I want something light when I'm going outside doing errands, but I just don't want to look too scary without any makeup on. Now you do get one ounce of product in here and this does cost $49. There's no scent to it and I believe there's no SPF in here. Okay, let's see how this one will work. I'll try that one later. I bought a lot of foundations in this haul. Yes. <laughs> I picked up this bronzer by Say, I believe that's how you pronounce it. It's the Sun Melt Natural Cream Bronzer. I'm wearing it right now. This is in the shade Medium Bronze, and I think it may be a little light. It does come in four shades, light bronze, medium bronze, deep bronze, and dark bronze. I think deep bronze may be a little dark. I don't know, maybe I need to go back to Sephora and kind of see. It comes in the jar with the pretty black lid. I don't know. It's very, very classic. I don't know. I just like that packaging. I have to say, this is very creamy. Let me swatch that here. But I think it's just a little light, and I don't know how deep bronze would look if it's going to be too red. I don't know, but I'll play with it some more and see how it works. You get one ounce of product in here, and this costs $30. Next, I picked up some liquid and cream blushes. In early March, my nephew had his wedding, and we went to Denver to attend his wedding. And my daughter came in, wanted me to check out her makeup, and I liked the blush that she was wearing. And I asked, what was it? And she said it was Rare Beauty. I thought, huh. Okay, so I looked online about Rare Beauty and I was quite intrigued. So I did pick up four liquid blushes, but a couple of them my daughter may take. But the one that I'm wearing right now, she's not taking this one. I love this color. So the blushes that I'm talking about is the Soft Pinch Dewy Liquid Blush by Rare Beauty. And again, I picked up four. I know, but they are reasonably priced. They cost $20 each. So here is what the bottle looks like. Comes with a cute little lid and a doe foot applicator. Very pigmented, I should say. Again, this one is Entourage, and that is such a pretty shade. Look at that. It's a soft neutral pink. I'll show you the other three shades. The next one that I have is Hope, which is a nude mauve. And this one is Joy. It's a vibrant color, which is a dewy mooded peach. And then these three are the Radiant Finish. The last one that I have is a matte finish, and this one is Grace, which is a matte bright rose mauve. I think my favorite one is Entourage, the first one. And it's very pretty, very pigmented. It melted to the skin and it's very pigmented. You just need a little bit and just pat it on with your finger. And I think that was the best way for me to apply it on my, my cheeks. Can't remember which one my daughter wanted, but she's not getting the one that I'm wearing, Entourage. This one right here. <laughs> No. Sorry, Christian. Now, another brand my daughter was telling me about was Westman Atelier. So I picked up some cream items there and a mascara she told me about so that she loved. Let me show you the mascara. This is the I Love You Mascara. I'll insert a picture here of what the wand looks like because I haven't opened it yet. But it's supposed to curl, volumize, and lengthen the lashes. She loves this mascara, so I said, okay, I have to try it. This one is expensive. It's $58. Comes in its own little case. I guess that's where the money comes from. The, the price comes from. So here is what the tube of mascara looks like. It's quite big and heavy. So I can't wait to try this one. kind of excited that my daughter is telling me products that she likes and she wants me to try. Now my daughter does have the highlighting stick from Westman Atelier. But I didn't get the single one. I did pick up the trio. The Mini Petite Sticks Clean Glow Trio. And this is color number two. It costs $78 and you do get one blush, one highlighter, and one bronzer. Nectar, Truffle, and Doo Doo. I also picked up two single blushes from Westman Atelier, but let me swatch these for you. I haven't looked at these yet. All right, so here is the blush. Comes in a small size. So here is Doo Doo from Westman Atelier. Very similar to Entourage. Hmm. But this one is more of a cream, whereas the Rare Beauty is more liquidy. Very similar with the Entourage by Rare Beauty. Very similar. Okay, what's this one? I think this is the highlighting stick, Nectar. And I believe this is what my daughter has. So here's the highlighter. And let's see what this bronzing stick looks like. Maybe this might be darker than the one from Say. And then this one is Truffle. Okay, yeah, this one's darker. Let me swatch the Say one next to it. Just so I could know and you could see it too. Oh yeah. Two different shades completely there. This one is a little bit light. Can't wait to try that one. Hopefully that one's not too dark. Again, I may have to check into deep bronze in this one. And then I have two of the full size baby cheek blushes. And just in the comparison, this is the full size and this is the one that was in the trio. But here's the full size of the Baby Cheeks blush stick, and this is in the shade Bichette. 
Yes, Bichette. And this one is a red berry. Ooh, that's pretty. Very creamy on. Oh, I can't wait to try these blush sticks. And the other one that I have is Petal. And so here's Petal. Kind of like a lighter version of Entourage and Doo Doo. They're quite similar, actually. Just a little bit lighter. It has the same tone. And these cost $48. So I guess this is another skincare product. It's a body cream, the new scent from Sol de Janeiro, the Beja Flor Elastic Cream. Now, I wasn't going to get this one, but when I smelled it at the store, it smelled very nice. It didn't have that cheap rose scent. Not a big rose scent fan. But this one smelled very clean, very nice. Very fruity, I guess you could say. I did get the small travel size of it. It looks like any other of the Boom Boom Cream, and I love the Boom Boom Cream scent. And this one does smell more fruity than rosy. You do get two and a half ounce of product in here and this one cost $22. So I was quite surprised that this one didn't have that rosy scent like I thought it did. And I love the original Boom Boom scent. Love that one. I have the shower gel, the body cream, and I picked up another one of the Boom Boom body scrub. This is a backup, a repurchase. So now we're going into the repurchases of the things that I needed. This one is a really nice body scrub. Of course has that Boom Boom scent and it's very scrubby. It's not a cream scrub. It's more of a sugar scrub. So I'll quickly go through these because you've seen these many times. If you're, you're familiar with my channel you see these a lot in my empties. I picked up two eye creams my favorite that I love to put together. The first one is the Ordinary the Caffeine Solution 5%. Now unfortunately the Ordinary is not on sale but since I was there I just went and picked up another one a backup of this one. This is more of a liquid and I placed that one first underneath my eyes and then I'll place this one on top. It's by Biosans, the Squalene and Peptide Eye Gel. These are just two backups of what I'm using right now. Picked up a sunscreen from Supergoop, the Unseen Sunscreen love this for my face. I don't use it underneath my makeup because it's still a little thick and a little hot. If I put it under makeup, I just use this when we know we're going to be working outside or walking outside on the beach by the pool. I picked up another one because even my husband wears this one too. And another mascara, it's one of my favorites. I picked up a backup. It's by Tom Ford and it's Tom Ford, and it's the Extreme Mascara. This one has a really nice wand. It's like the Christmas tree shape. Can't wait to open that one and the mascara from Westman Atelier. I just want to finish the ones that I opened up first. And actually, that's all that I got from Sephora. Now let me show you what I got from Skin Store because they did have 25% off. And the products that I have from Skin Store and next from Ulta are pretty much backups. So this one is by First Aid Beauty, the Ultra Repair Instant Oatmeal Mask. And I did a video on this. I'll link it down below if you want to see how this works. But this is a wonderful mask that just calms the skin and exfoliate the skin too. And then this one by DHC, the Deep Cleansing Oil. I did pick this one up, like I said, from Skin Store. They had 25% off. And then of course, Ulta had their 21 Days of Beauty and they had the same one for half price. So I picked up another one. <laughs> This is what I use to take the swatches off my arm, which I'm going to use for the blushes right now or after this video. But yeah, after I picked it up at 25% off and I saw it was half off, so yeah, I picked up another one. Half off, can't go wrong. Picked up another cleanser, another repurchase. This is by Avin and this is the Milk Cleanser. Very nice, very gentle on the skin. I like this because I could just apply it on a dry skin and then rinse it off. And it smells very nice and it's a great price. I did pick this one up from Ulta and the last product that I did get from Ulta is another repurchase. It's the Hey Honey Come Clean Propolis and Mineral Facial Scrub. I just finished the one that I'm using right now, but this is a great scrub. I use this one in the shower. It has a nice exfoliation to it, nice scent. Kind of reminds me of blueberry pie. I know, I know. I don't know why, but it reminds me of blueberry pie. Very nice scent. So I picked up a backup of this and I'll probably put this one in the shower, in the shower. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear off the products that I have here in front of me from Sephora and Ulta and Skin Store and put all the other products up here because we still got a long ways to go. Now I want to show you the Guerlain products that I bought from Suffrages because they are a little bit cheaper from Suffrages than they are here in the States. And I did pick these up several weeks ago. And of course now the powders are on sale at Sephora. They sell them at Sephora. So the powders I picked up, I got three shades. I know. And it's the Terracotta Light, the Sun Kissed Healthy Glow powder. Again, I picked up three shades. 02, which is medium cool. 03, which is medium warm and 04, which is deep cool. And I did do a video on the powders and the lipsticks that I'm gonna show you before this one. Actually, I did it the day before, yesterday, before this one. So I wanted this haul to go up first. I did do a video using these powders and the lipsticks, and I'm gonna show you from that video the swatches that I already did. So here's what the powders look like. It comes with four different shades in there, very pretty. And this is 02, medium cool. And this one is 03, medium warm. And then this is 04, deep cool. So the swatches that I did, I swirled it all around, used all four shades, and this is how it looked like 
on my arm. And the lipsticks that I got from Suffrages, there was a little mistake with it. And I mentioned it in the video, but I'll mention it here. I ordered two shades and the two cases that goes with the lipsticks. But instead of sending me the cases, they sent me two extra lipsticks in the different finishes. So I was quite surprised actually. So the other order that I placed with Sephora are two cases because they already have it on sale. And I forgot which ones I picked. I picked up the cheapest ones. I believe they were $22 each. So the four lipsticks that I have, I'm going to just get two cases because they do come with a, a little cap. So for now, I'm just going to keep the cap with two of these lipsticks. I hope this makes sense. I hope when I edit this, that it makes sense. So these lipsticks are the Rouge Legendary Reds. There are three different shades from three different eras in Guerlain's lipstick history with two different finishes. So there were six shades in total. So I picked up two shades and they sent me two shades, but in different finishes. So I have four totally different shades. So the original one that I picked was 1830 in the satin and 1870 in the velvet. So they sent me 1830 in the velvet and 1870 in the satin. And I swatched them all my arm in that video and I'll insert that here. These two are the 1830 and these two are the 1870. So here's the satin one and the matte and you can see the difference there. You can see the sheen in the satin one and then here's 1870. Of course this one's the satin. You can see the sheen there and the matte. So hopefully that video will be up after this one using the Guerlain Terracotta Light Powders and the Legendary Reds lipsticks. So let's keep moving. Now the next products I got are from Givenchy. Some of them I did get from the Givenchy website and one I picked up from Phil Unique. Now what I picked up from the Givenchy website is this foundation that I'm wearing right now. First time for me to try it. It's a Prism Libre Sun Caring Matte Foundation. It's the new one that they came out with and this is the first time I've tried a foundation from Givenchy. And this is in the shade, let's see here, 5-N312. The shade numbers are a little too long. But this is in the matte finish and they do have a glow finish but that came out last year and I wasn't interested so I didn't pick it up. I was interested in the matte finish and I wanted to try a foundation from Givenchy and I really do like the glass bottle. I would say this shade is very nice. It matches me very well and it does give me a nice matte finish. I have to try it several more times but so far it's okay. It's okay. I need to try it with different primers. Maybe that might help, but it is showing a little bit of texture right here. But when I applied the bronzer and the liquid blush, the foundation didn't move. It's not sinking in any pores. It's not giving me any shininess anywhere. I do like the color. The color is very nice. And when I bought that foundation, they did give me this gift. It's the Prism Libra Blender. I didn't use that with this foundation. Maybe I need to. I wanted to show it to you clean. This is quite different. I've never seen a blender like this before because it has something metal in the middle. So here's what the blender looks like. It has something metal in the middle. That's just weird. I guess you can use it to hold it either way. But yeah, the next time I'm going to use this foundation, I'm going to use this blender to go with it. And the other things that I bought from Givenchy, the website, are these three lipsticks. And I did get these a while back because they weren't available at Sephora, but now they are available at Sephora with 20% off. So I kind of missed out on that. I didn't think it was going to be here in Sephora. This is the Rose Perfecto Liquid Balm. So I think that these are like lip gloss but look at the marbleization there. That is what got my interest. This one is 01 and probably I should have put one on. I will try to put one on. And I like this color bubblegum pink and I thought that the marbleization was part of the glass. I don't know if you can see the doe foot applicator. I'm trying to move it around to see if it will mix. But yeah, it does mix. So what you see here is what's inside this little bottle. But this one is 001 and I think this one changes to your pH level. It has a little bit of a pinkness to it. And then this deep berry shade, this is 011. Here's what that one looks like. Let me apply this one to my lips. I'm not wearing any lip gloss, just the lipstick. Not bad. So I haven't tried these lip balms before and it's very creamy. Ooh, I'm feeling like a plumping this. Do these plump your lips too? Yes, it moisturizes and plumps. And I do feel that, that plumping mechanism in there. Ooh, I kind of like that. It doesn't sting or anything like that. It has that nice sensation. And the last one that I have is 110 and it's Milky Nude, which is a beige pink nude. He okay, didn't tell you the name. 001 is Pink Irresistible, which is a transparent pink custom to your PA. And then 011 is Black Pink, which is a black and pink that transformed to a rich berry. kind of like this already. Just one time trying it. I like that sensation, that that coolness to it. Hmm, maybe I need to pick a couple more shades before the sale is over. <laughs> okay, then the last thing that I bought from Givenchy, I did pick this up at Phil Unique because they are the only ones that carries this product. And it's the Prism Libre Pressed Powder and I got it in the shade 5. Hope Line Mimosa. I do have the loose powder in this, but I wanted to try the pressed powder. And I do have the loose powder. Let me open this and let you see. Oh crap. <laughs> Spilt it all over me. 
That's why I wanted the pressed powder so it wouldn't be so messy. Here's the pressed powder and here's the loose powder. So it has the same concept there, four different shades, but this one's loose and this one's pressed. And I got a big mess here on my table and on my lap. And on my hand too. Look at that, yeah. <laughs> but here are the four shades. And let's see what happens when I mix them all together. So here's what it looks like all together. Now this one doesn't have the same scent as the loose powder. This one does have a strong scent. I will give it that. But once you put it on, it dissipates. I didn't set this foundation with powder because this is a matte foundation. Plus I wanted to see how this wears without setting it. I'll use this next time. I just got a big mess in front of me. The next products are from Elemis. They were having 30% off their website. So I picked up something for my husband. It's something that he uses, a backup for him. And this is the Deep Cleanse Facial Wash. He loves this facial wash. So when I facial wash. So when I saw that they were having 30% off, I went ahead and got him another one because I think he's almost finished with what he has. And then I picked up five of the mini masks. And I've used a lot of these before. I just needed, you know, more masks. But one is the Peptide Thousand Flower Mask. Beautiful mask. And then the Superfood Vital Veggie Mask. Another one that's very nice. This one's the Herbal Lavender Repair Mask. And then these two are the same. I picked up one and I believe this one was the free gift. And this is the Superfood Berry Boost Mask. And I think I've tried this one before. What I'm going to do now is there's a lot of mess in front of me and it's just making everything very powdery. I'm going to clean this off and I'll finish with what we have. Yeah, I just want to show you the mess. Yeah, and on the table too. So yeah, let me clean up and I'll be right back. I think I cleaned off as much as I could showing y'all my pajama pants that I'm wearing. Yes, I know. But let's keep going with this haul because I know this video is going to be long. Next, I want to show you are the products that I got from Sisley Paris because they were having 20% off their website. And usually I'd get Sisley Paris from Suffrages because they are cheap there. But the price was very comparable, maybe one or two dollars off compared to regular price at Suffrages. Plus you get some free gifts when you order it off the Sisley website, not from Suffrages. So I went ahead and got it from Sisley. During the Nordstrom anniversary sale last year, I did pick up a kit from Sisley and in that kit it had the shampoo, the volumizing shampoo and the conditioner and a mask. I gave my daughter the mask and I just now started using the shampoo and conditioner and I love it. I love it. I know it's expensive, but I will pay the price for things that work with my hair because I had a massive shed. So anything that will work for my hair that makes it look a little fuller and healthier, I will pay the money. Very nice with the discount, but I will pay the money. And so I really did love it. I'm almost finished with it. So it's going to show up in my empties that I went ahead and got the full size of it. Not the hair mask. I just got the revitalizing volumizing shampoo. That's a uh, mouthful and the restructuring conditioner. I believe sale price was $63 and that's how much they sell it at suffrages. The regular price is $83 but I really do like what it did to my hair and it has a beautiful scent. Beautiful scent and it does make my hair fuller and it makes it very soft and shiny. So yeah I went ahead and bought the full size of the shampoo and conditioner. Now this one is a backup since it's on sale I went ahead and got another one and it's the Supreme Anti-Aging Eye Serum at night and I did get this as a sample last year. Loved what it did for underneath my eyes. A full size of it from Suffrages last year and so I just bought a backup. This is a really nice product for underneath my eyes and yeah it doesn't dry underneath it. Really does you know give it that moisture. Really do like this product. And bought another blush Lafito blush and this is in the shade number two rose fuchsia. This one's very bright. But look at that one. That is a beautiful bright fuchsia color. That's gonna be pretty during the summer. And then this is one of the free gifts, this bag with some products in here. I haven't looked at it yet, but I'll put a picture of all the free things that I got with this box. And then three of the lip pencils. I love the one that I have. I'm wearing it right now. It's the chocolate shade, but the ones that I did get is number two, number five, and number 10. Let me swatch these for you, but let me go ahead and swatch what I'm wearing right now. Chocolate. So here's what I'm wearing right now, chocolate. And I just love these lip pencils. Quite surprised. Very creamy and it stays on. And on the other side, it does come with a brush to blend it out. And the lipstick that I'm wearing is this one by Dior. I had this for a while. It's the Dorific 076. So here's the first one that I'm wearing, chocolate. I believe that's number nine or number six. But here's number two, number five, and number 10. But again, they're very creamy and they stay on. Very nice. 
and I believe they do come with a pencil sharpener. Yes, they each come with a pencil sharpener. Always nice to have. You can never have too many. We're at the home stretch now. We're at the last place that I bought things, and that is from Cost Bar. They had a great gift with purchase, so I went ahead and bought a few things. I went ahead and bought the new foundation from Clay de Poe. It's the Radiant Cream Foundation, and I believe this is in the shade 060. That's what I have in the other foundations from Clay de Poe. The Radiant Matte and the Radiant Natural, I believe those are the two shades and or the two finishes. Love those foundations, so I wanted to give this one a try. Again, it wasn't on sale. I had to get it full price, but the gift with purchase very nice. And then these are just repurchases, another shampoo and conditioner that if you're familiar with my channel, you see this a lot in my empties. It's by Revitalash, the thickening shampoo and conditioner. And typically I do find these on sale, but I went ahead and got a full price so I can get the gift with purchase. And here's what the gift with purchase looks like. Oops. <laughs> this nice spring bag, very pretty yellow plaid. And look at all the goodies. I'll put a picture of what everything was in here. And I did post about this on my community page and also on my Instagram page. Whenever I find a good sale or a good gift with purchase, I'll usually do a post. But yeah, I had to get this gift with purchase because I just like this bag. It's a nice size bag, very flexible, and it is vinyl lined to protect the inside. Now the last thing I want to show you, I did also buy it from Cost Bar, but I bought this... Gosh, I would say in the beginning of the year because they were having a sale. It's another foundation by Clay de Poe. I went ahead and took it out of the box because I just wanted to look at it, but I would say that this is the most expensive foundation. When they were having their sale, the shade that I'm in, 060, it's by Clay de Poe, it was on half price. It was half price. This foundation was half price, and here it is. And it's actually called The Foundation with a broad spectrum of SPF, 21 and my shade was the one that was half price. There were I think three or four shades that was half price. Regularly this foundation cost $250. I know. I don't think I would have spent that much money for a foundation. No. I spent $150, the one by Chanel, the Sublimage, and of course the Clay de Poe foundation. That's $130. But this one on sale was a little bit cheaper than the cream foundation that I just bought. So this one was half price of $250, so I did get this one for $125. And look at that. It comes with its own tray and its own spatula. And look at that jar. It's so pretty, you can just set this on the counter. I don't know much information about this because I was afraid to use it. I didn't even take the plastic thing off because I don't want to yet. This is a skincare foundation. But still, I don't know if this is worth $250 or not. But I'm going to try the other foundations that I have now. One that I'm wearing is Givenchy. The new one by Clay de Poe, the cream foundation. I want to try the Skin Tint by Rose Ink. And then I'll try this one. <laughs> I didn't open it, so it's still good. Let me just get through the other things, the other foundations, and then I like to try to rank my foundations. One of y'all mentioned if I could, and I will. Just let me try the foundations that I have now and see where they lay. Already got, you know, my top three so far. But let's see if some of these will replace the ones that I have in my top three. Well, all right, you guys, that is my big haul. And like I said, it's been accumulated now for, gosh, since this foundation, several months now. This is a massive haul, and I'm gonna try to do better next time. <laughs> well, all right, you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this huge haul video. If you like and enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. And you all have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.